Services were held this week for some of the 11 victims of Saturday's tragic mass shooting at the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh. Meanwhile, a public art exhibition on the Boston Common by Italian-German photographer Luigi Toscano has gained new significance for some. His work focuses on the harrowing stories of Holocaust survivors, driving home the relevance of that dark chapter in history that happened not so long ago. Connecting Point Stephanie Leiden has more. Lined up along the Boston Common, an unexpected encounter with history, larger-than-life portraits. They are people from around the world with one thing in common. They all survived the Holocaust. Makes it very real. You know, to me as a millennial, it just seems like this happened so long ago. So just, you know, remembering that people are still alive from when it took place and they're survivors, just very impactful. The work of a German-Italian artist, the photos have been on display in Boston for two weeks. But in the wake of the deadly synagogue shootings in Pittsburgh, there's new relevancy to the exhibit called Lest We Forget. Maybe we haven't learned our lesson, and I think we start forgetting it. Mirko Malik is the project manager for the exhibit, which was first staged in Germany three years ago. It's traveled the world, and at each stop, portraits are added of local Holocaust survivors. Among the nine people added to the Boston exhibit, Tanya Lethman of Wellesley. When I looked at my picture, I kind of fell back. I said, oh my God, look at all the wrinkles. 89 years old, Lefman is from Poland. When I think about it, it gives me this chills almost when I think of what I, what I, what I endured in my life. She was 12 when the Nazis invaded. And I hid underground in a shallow, like shallow grave almost for two and a half years. It was beyond description. I mean, the hungers, the cold and all that. She and her husband built a life and a family here. It was possible, she says, because of something fundamental to this country, a sense that people are equal. She hopes when passers-by see her picture, they will consider not just history, but how it can repeat. Look what's going on. Jews will not replace us! Jews will not replace us! Look what the, the nationalists, you know, they come out with, with neo-Nazis and all that. Would you, would you ever believe that our country would, would, would have open demonstrations like that? I couldn't believe it would happen ever. But it's, you see, it can happen anywhere. And it starts slowly. The only way to counter it, she says, is to speak out. We will not retreat in fear. As people did on the Boston Common to honor the Pittsburgh synagogue victims, not far from where anyone can come face to face with history.